The Run American Convoy that we did from Super Rigs up to Lincoln, Nebraska was just a blast. Everybody communicating over the CB radio saying, hey, move to the left, move to the right, block to the right. And it was a, a fun time, but really what we're trying to get to is we're running down American roads to come up to a manufacturing plant in Nebraska to show what we do, why we care about our products, share the culture that we have here. And that's what we really wanted to do is bring the convoy here, let these drivers see what we're doing and get their feedback of what we're doing. Maybe they have ideas that could allow us to continue to develop and, and get better. The cool thing is they brought their trucks, had it sitting outside of the plant. And these people are pretty excited to go outside and really check out the trucks and see the product installed. I mean, we see it finished. We see it when we're boxing it, but a lot of the guys don't get to actually see it on the truck, see it working. We have some product that was on a few of these trucks. It's been on there for a while, and it's been running up and down the road, and been worked, and it's just a, it's a cool thing to let people see that it's lasted, and that it's still looking good, and it's still shiny, and then let alone that these guys are taking care of it too. Lincoln Industries has actually been polishing and plating exhaust systems and stacks for the last 30 years. Lincoln Chrome has been established in 2008 and been around for about 10 years. Uh, the reason we decided to do this is we've been polishing and plating for quite some time. We knew quite a bit about how to do it and then we actually had obtained and purchased tooling to be able to provide the exhaust systems and stacks towards PACAR. So then we started supplying exhaust stacks to them, which then evolved into Lincoln Chrome because we had the tooling to do it and we already knew how to, to mass produce it. Uh, so that being said, we're vertically integrated and we fab, polish and plate right here in Lincoln, Nebraska. That allows us to keep the cost down on the Lincoln Chrome products, so therefore not, not freighting them all over the U.S., trying to get other people to do some of the other jobs for us. We're keeping it all here, which keeps the cost down and allows us to compete against some of the foreign imported products. So this is where we, we bring in the tube and we distribute it up and down the line here. And then from there it goes to our, uh, to our saws to cut it to length to go into our process. Whether it be bending first or we're going to do some end finishing, we're going to do a straight stack, whatever we're going to do, it goes to that specific area of, of the shop. Uh, this facility has four benders over at this area and we've got another one at the main plan location. Uh, we've got benders all the way from doing multi-bend, real tight radius bends to simple stuff, all the way from really complex 8-inch parts going through a multi-bend process. We do our 8-inch Kenworth elbows with a multi-bend with no weld to the fact that we don't need to make any cosmetic welds at that point and grind off of the integrity of the part. So therefore we want to make it out of one piece knowing that it's the strongest part that we can possibly make with no welds. Being a vertically integrated company, Lincoln Chrome does all their polishing in-house. In the polishing department, they have some very dedicated individuals that take polishing very seriously and they treat it like an art form. The plating is only as good as the polishing itself, and they feel as though they have some of the best polishers and the most high-tech equipment. A lot of the work is done manually, but they also use robotic polishing processes as well. Once the robot's done with this, it's still going to be polished by a polisher. This is just the first step in that process. So now that it's done, it's going to go over. It's going to, it's going to take that flap uh, abrasive on that last wheel, polish the inlet, and then it'll set it back down. We do tier one business, like for Harley Davidson, Peterbilt, Kenworth, and then we do a lot of tier two contract plating, where we don't own the part, we don't own the supply chain. Somebody sends it to us and we plate it and send it back. This is line 36 and 37. 
These are both automated nickel chrome lines that run all mild steel motorcycle parts. These are highly cosmetic chrome parts. So as you can see in the load stations here, they can run a ton of different geometries, different configurations, lots of parts per load. This line is very utilized here at Lincoln Industries. And then right on the other side, next to me is line 36. It runs entirely Harley mufflers. So we're gonna head towards line 34, one of our nickel automated nickel chrome lines. It's a bumper line and it's running your bumper. So we'll walk that way and go take a peek. So all we run on line 34 are nickel chrome bumpers for both OEM and Lincoln Chrome. As you can see, we ran a couple of bumpers earlier this morning for Ingrid. These came off the line just a little bit ago. I'm Kyle Stanley. I'm the uh, team lead here for Line 34 at Lincoln Industries, where we do the Lincoln Chrome bumpers. I've been with Lincoln Industries for 11 years. Line 34 has been converted to exclusively run the bumpers at a higher ductility, which means they're going to be more resistant to the rock chips, the environment that is uh, the front of a bumper of a semi. This is an automated line, which means we do not have an operator that would, would maneuver the, uh, the loads back and forth. It's all pre-programmed to run at the right voltage and temperatures that are required for a quality product. This is line 38. Line 38 has been in existence for about two and a half years now. And the reason this line was established is because of the fact that we are starting to run into capacity issues with the amount of exhaust systems that we're running through this facility. We do a fair amount of Lincoln Chrome products through here, but we're also a producer for a lot of the exhaust systems or other the OEM trucks throughout the market. This line is actually capable of doing 150 loads a day, and some of these load sizes are gonna have six to 10 stacks per load. It's one of the largest plating tanks in North America, and it's got the ability to plate mild steel, stainless steel, and a bunch of other things. It's one of the most unique and really badass lines out there. It's able to actually produce stacks up to 120 inches tall, all the way down to the little 24 inches. So it's got the ability just to plate these huge massive stacks. Then it's also got the ability to run stacks vertically. So we can plate vertically due to the tank depth and therefore when you plate vertically you're more successful at it and your product looks better at the end. So we're, we're plating vertically up to 68 inches which is unique in regards to exhaust systems because there's not many people out there that can plate vertically that tall and therefore we're able to get more per load and have the product look a heck of a lot better at the end of the day. So parts come off the line, they go directly into the inspection cell over there, an operator inspects them, makes sure that they're clean, that there's no plating defects, there's no part defects, then they get packaged, boxed, tagged, and shipped over to the hangar to get ready to go out to you guys. This facility is where we ship the Lincoln Chrome product out of. The last warehouse we were in, we were starting to outgrow, and it was only about a 20,000 square foot warehouse in this building that we've moved into. It's around 115,000 square feet. A uh, majority of what we ship out of this side is Lincoln Chrome products. Uh, we also ship some other stuff, including the Packard products, the Peterbilt and Kenworth stack shipped from here. But really, we've, we've set this building up for us to continue to grow. CNN's chief medical correspondent Sanjay Gupta is on his coast-to-coast -coast Fit Nation tour. And this week, he's focusing on a company-wide fitness effort that's really paying off. Sanjay joins us now with more details. Hey, Sanjay. Hey, you know, we love these stories uh, because it actually shows how, how you, as you say, fitness can pay off. This is a medium-sized assembly plant. It's in Nebraska. And they said, you know what, we're going to make a commitment to our employees' wellness. We're going to have to give them some sort of reward, some sort of gift for investing in their own health. Take a look at what they did. Lincoln Industries looks like an old-fashioned blue-collar plant, making motorcycle and truck parts. But at this Nebraska company, you're also going to find massages and stretching before every shift. Employees also undergo mandatory quarterly medical checkups. That's right, mandatory. Hamstring stretch. Employees are tested for flexibility blood pressure, weight, body fat, and they're given Another annual arm. blood tests. 
Workers receive ranks like platinum and gold, down to non-metal. They also set goals for themselves. So a couple of years ago, we decided to build an on-site health clinic, which is in here. It's staffed 32 hours a week. Basically, whatever you might need to take time off to to go see your general practitioner for, you can stop in and make an appointment, see Christy, or schedule it online. And then, you know, you can take off 15 or 20 minutes from work and go do that off the clock rather than taking half a day of vacation or whatnot. The massage therapy, that happens in this room right here. So people can schedule a 15 minute appointment every week and get whatever area they need help with where they're having a mus muscular skeletal problem, they can schedule in there and get that work done. It's available to every Lincoln Industries person regardless of if you're on our insurance or not. And then any spouses and dependents over the age of six if you're on our health care plan. You know, Lincoln Industries really puts a value on wellness. And so one of the things that we were looking at is, you know, we put in the health clinic and we decided how can we just better help our people. And so we decided to build this fitness center up here. And so it's open 24 seven if you have your badge, uh, you can get in. Spouses are allowed and dependents over 16. We really care about quality. Uh, it's our image, our brand that's out there when people run Lincoln Chrome products and it's their truck that they're putting it on and they represent their truck and we're just trying to help make their truck look good. And that's why we're sitting here today saying you should run American products. Uh, just not because it's an American made thing, it's because it's going to be a premium quality product that's out on the road, but it's also going to help the economy and keep jobs here in America. And if it's ours or anybody else's, just keep, keep running American products and, and keep this economy growing. So, um, will you do another Run American Convoy? Oh, heck yeah. The, the next one's going to be bigger and better, and, and it was a blast working with Big Rig Videos. We really enjoyed working with Chris. Uh, of course, it was just a fun time, and I look forward to getting together with a bunch of these drivers and running up and down the road. That was one of the more fun things that I've gotten to take part of. And then let alone my kids got to sit there and, and talk on the radio and talk to the drivers and got to ride in the truck. They had a blast. It was a good time. We enjoyed this. It's been a fun process to work through everything. And it was just overall good. I mean, we're good people, good friends, and just, just a good industry to be in.